Greetings, this is user Kanzar, and I'm just showing a quick uh, overview of the alpha build of a new program that I'm developing called Keyboarding Master. So this is in the same vein as JNSTREMO, except that it's flexible enough to provide drivers for any number of devices, not just the Razer Nostromo. I've the reason I'm developing this is because I've had a number of users of Janus Dermo contact me and say, hey, wouldn't it be great if this worked for the you know, Razer Naga or um, the Razer Marauder or some other uh, keyboard or mouse device? So the, the Razer Nostromo worked on the Janus Dermo and only on the Janus Dermo could you use uh, the Razer Nostromo. So it's very limited, and I, I, the reason I created a new project is because it was not very flexible. It wasn't designed to be expanded. So let me just bring up what I currently have with the keyboarding master. So this is just the code. I'll hide that. So what you notice right away is that there's a login screen. Um, I sort of... Uh, looked at the Synapse 2.0 from Razer software and they have the ability or they force you to log into their drivers um, so that you have instant uploads and uh, always access to your profiles. With Keyboarding Master I like the idea of being able to store your profiles on the cloud but I wanted users to have the ability to not participate in online if they don't want to. So that's what this local account is. It's, you know, doesn't access the internet at all. Um, everything's just locally. You don't need internet connection to access your drivers. So I thought that was very important. In the, f the future releases of Keyboarding Master, you will be able to sign up and provide an email and password and be able to um, upload your profiles and have them saved on the cloud and you can share them. And I have a plan for having a really cool community but if you don't want to participate that's that's on you for right now it's only a local account so you just select login and again this is a quite different interface than what I previously had note this is an alpha release the I already have a, a new design UE that I that I put in the uh, blog that's going to be quite it's going to add a, a few things, make these buttons smaller. Um, I think it's going to be cleaned up a bit more, but right now I haven't implemented that. So the reason these are big white spaces is because right now you have to select the, the device you're interested in configuring. So the device is here. We can, uh, initially you'll have no devices, so you have to click on add device, but uh, we don't need to do that right now. I already had the Razer Nostromo there. And what you'll see immediately is that the type is, pro is um, populated, so you can select application or game. This allows you to uh, organize your profiles um, in a tree-like structure. So you have type and then the program. What's the name of the program? Let's go with StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. Yay, that's an awesome game, but I haven't played it yet. Just been watching some commentary and very excited. Uh, to eventually purchase it. I haven't been had time to do that yet. So um, then the name of the profile, Protoss Action and Keypad. Um, eventually you can put a description there if you want. Again, this is going to change a little bit. Uh, but the most interesting thing is the sort of center right. Um, and that this is where you actually configure your Razer Nostromo. Before there was a lot of uh, combo boxes where you could select each key but now it's all just clicking on the actual keys so it's just a lot easier and again you can click on the, the key maps down here as before there's a description button um, which I don't have enabled this will allow you to set the description of each key map no new feature there that, that was in the Janus Tremo as well. So if you just click on a button, 
um, you notice a new window popped up and this is where you do all of your configuring so you can set a single key <clears throat> you can set a mouse button a key map or just dis disable it all entirely disable that key all ent entirely so if you go to single key you can select a s just select a the the new feature is modifiers so if I hold down shift well, I just press shift so if I hold down shift and hit a so notice that shift has been highlighted I can do control a or alt a I can do one I can do shift one alt one control one excuse me alt one so that's something new um, I think that will be very useful for certain applications like GIMP or uh, Blender, things that have a lot of uh, modifier keys. Um, in gaming, probably not as much, um, but I think uh, applications will, will greatly... Um, so, so you don't have to remap all of your keys to... Before with was Jade and Stromo, you had to remap them. So to, to not use any modifiers. So that's a new feature. I think people will like it. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to it. So that, this is just, a, it's, again, it's, it's an alpha. It's not functioning. Um, I'm still working out all of the things on the UI. Uh, so anyways, I wanted to give you guys a heads up and a kind of a video look at the current progress. And I hope to maybe do a video blog once a month uh, just to keep everyone up to date. All right, thank you very much. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying Heart of the Swarm. Um, hopefully, once I get this released, uh, at least the first release, I'll I'll purchase it and and start playing it as well. All right, everyone, have a good one.